So there's this English MD with an Italian senior, senior management team. Sounds like a joke, but it's actually a real life story. Um, problems. So I interview the British MD and he's complaining. Lots of things going wrong. Um, the Italian team, in his opinion, is not performing. The people are not courageous enough. They're not proactive enough. Uh, they're not accountable. Okay, so I go interview the Italian team and they're also complaining about different things and their complaints are that the British MD is not warm enough, he's not conversational enough, he's not communicative enough and um, they're just not on the same page. Um, however, they do speak the same language, they're both bilingual, they both speak excellent English and excellent Italian. So where's the problem? Um, and the problem is a, is a dilemma I see quite frequently. And the dilemma is you've brought people from different realities together to solve big problems. This, in this case, the uh, business objectives were very challenging. They had stiff competition. They had a short time to bring results to headquarters. And they were under a lot of stress. They were speaking the same language. They weren't getting anywhere. In this case, and in many cases, what you have to do is a bit counterintuitive. The more you feel the pressure for results, the more you actually have to take a metaphorical step back and manage the expectations and the whys of the business results, which we can see as the what's that you want to take care of. So we had to live with the pressure, take a step back. They had to figure out what he wanted from them in terms of how they were to get to the results and vice versa, and with a bit of work on expectations and intentions, and with a bit of work on sharing the whys, which actually didn't take long, but was being totally ignored, we got the team back together again and working well towards their objectives.